ready to dive back into the epic universe of Dune. Get ready to be swept away as Dune Part 2 takes us deeper into the sands of Arrakis with more action, intrigue, and unexpected twists than ever before. The 1960s stand as a golden era for science fiction, a true oasis of imagination. In cinemas and on TV screens worldwide, productions like Lost in Space, Planet of the Apes, Doctor Who, Star Trek, and 2001, a space odyssey captivated audiences, igniting dreams of new worlds while instilling a healthy fear of humanity's potential hubris. In the realm of literature, Philip K. Dick reigned supreme, while Frank Herbert unleashed one of the most influential works in pop culture history, Dune. Over the years, its epic tale of space politics has inspired franchises like The Matrix, Avatar, Mad Max, and Star Wars, earning its place as a favorite of none other than Hayao Miyazaki. At the heart of the story lies the Atreides family and their entanglements with the desert planet of Arrakis. Paul Atreides, a young monarch thrust into a world torn apart by political warfare, emerges as the Freeman's beacon of hope in their struggle for liberation. With their alliance, he seeks to avenge his father's murder. For years, many wondered why Dune didn't achieve the same level of popularity as Star Wars or The Lord of the Rings. But Denis Villeneuve's adaptation suggests that's about to change. Hey there, Dune fans. Welcome back to Intriguing Facts. Today, we're delving into the world of Dune Part 2, the much-anticipated continuation of the cinematic journey into Frank Herbert's legendary universe. When the announcement for the 2021 Dune film came out, skepticism was rife. Could such a complex story truly be captured on screen? Director Villeneuve proved the naysayers wrong, delivering a film brimming with essence and life. And now, lightning strikes twice as we return to the vast expanse of Herbert's creation. Dune Part 2 picks up right where its predecessor left off, following Paul Atreides on his quest for justice and self-discovery after the tragic events of the first film. Joined by the enigmatic Chani and the resilient Freeman, Paul grapples with his destiny as he seeks retribution for his father's murder. But amidst the intricate web of politics, cultures, and technologies of the Dune universe, clarity can be elusive. That's where Part 2 steps in firmly establishing the rules of the world and unraveling the mysteries that have captivated audiences for decades. Where the first film laid the groundwork, this sequel kicks things into high gear with a faster pace, jaw-dropping twists, and heart-pounding action sequences. It's a film that embraces its audience with open arms, pulling us deeper into its mesmerizing world with every passing moment. While some of the political intricacies of Dune might take a back seat, Villeneuve's approach simplifies without sacrificing the satisfying challenge viewers crave. The commitment to attention remains paramount, but the immersive adventure rewards every step of the way. Denis Villeneuve's signature lies in his ability to balance the grandeur of the whole with the intimacy of its parts. Just as in Blade Runner 2049 and Arrival, where sprawling universes are integral to the narrative, Villeneuve understands that greatness is best complemented by compelling human stories. And let's not forget about a particular scene that will undoubtedly leave audiences awestruck, showcasing the sheer magnificence of what unfolds on screen and how the sandworms seamlessly fit into this society. It's a testament to the spectacular scale work by the film's director. Not every filmmaker possesses the skill to play with the contrasts and size of characters and weaponry to such impressive effect but Denis Villeneuve proves himself a master of this art. Just as Gareth Edwards, known for Godzilla and Rogue One, has demonstrated his prowess in this regard, Villeneuve employs scales to his advantage, instilling a sense of danger that permeates every frame. It's moments like these that remind us why we're drawn to the silver screen, to witness the breathtaking spectacle of imagination brought to life in vivid detail. In Dune, the camera oscillates between vast landscapes and intimate moments, capturing not just the grandeur of giant sandworms and epic battles, but also the subtle details like the food the Freemen eat, offering insights into their identity. Similarly, our connection to the characters deepens as we glimpse into their inner struggles and triumphs. In this second chapter, every aspect is meticulously crafted following the epic playbook. We're treated to awe-inspiring machinery, breathtaking landscapes, and a protagonist on a journey of self-discovery and redemption, gathering a legion of supporters with each step. As the narrative unfolds, we're swept away by the grandeur of it all. 
from the towering machinery that shapes civilizations to the vast, unforgiving landscapes that serve as both backdrop and adversary. And at the heart of it lies our protagonist, facing trials that not only test his mettle, but also his resolve to lead and inspire those around him. Paul Atreides faces monumental threats and decisions, yet the film also invites us into his personal journey. Lady Jessica's role gains unexpected depth and significance, while Stilgar's contribution to Paul's messianic journey becomes clearer. And for Chani, her place in the narrative evolves, allowing us to empathize with her own challenges alongside Paul's. Let's not forget the stellar cast, where talent meets popularity. Timothée Chalamet and Zendaya draw crowds of young fans, while newcomers Florence Pugh and Austin Butler bring charisma and charm, bolstering the ensemble with their Oscar-nominated prowess. As Princess Irulan, Florence is poised to be a pivotal figure in what lies beyond Part Two, where her character's development takes on a nuanced trajectory. Integral to the original literary work, Irulan's presence in the film offers a stark contrast to Paul's reality with the Fremen. Florence's solemn demeanor perfectly embodies Irulan's enigmatic persona, a quality that shines even brighter alongside the exceptional Christopher Walken as Emperor Sheddum. Meanwhile, the shadowy Harkonnens receive a compelling addition in Austin Butler, portraying a character of complexity. Though Fade Routho's visual portrayal may verge on caricature, Butler's performance effectively communicates the underlying villainy, which remains mostly obscured in the script. It's a case where you're compelled to believe in the character's malevolence, even if you don't witness it firsthand. Tasked with representing a cruelty that exists more in the realm of ideas, Austin Butler reaffirms his dramatic sensibility following his role in Elvis, 2022. His stark antagonism juxtaposed with Paul Atreides' softer presence sets the stage for a compelling clash between them. This stark contrast not only adds depth to the good versus evil narrative, but also underscores the complexities and subtleties within our protagonist, Paul. As Paul and Fade share common traits yet stand in stark contrast, their confrontation promises to be a battle of wits and ideologies, adding layers of intrigue and sophistication to the narrative. Director Denis Villeneuve aptly reminds us of one of Frank Herbert's primary legacies. Dune is not a celebration, it's a warning. This sentiment rings true for the films as well, especially in the second installment. Approaching nearly six decades since its original publication, Dune remains ever relevant, serving as a cautionary tale on various fronts from our predatory relationship with the environment to the perilous paths of politics. In the 2021 film, we witnessed Paul Atreides not as a chosen one, but as a meticulously engineered individual groomed to become an unquestionable leader, serving the interests of others. In the second installment, as the protagonist is put to the test, the ramifications of this mission provoke deep reflection and apprehension about whom we choose to believe, how it divides us, and what the true motives are. Overall, Dune Part Two feels like a step up in every aspect from its predecessor. The visuals and sound design are even more immersive. Timothée Chalamet delivers a performance even more attuned to his character's dilemmas, and the world presented is even more visceral. The 2021 film made grand promises that, I'm relieved to say, have been more than fulfilled. So, fellow travelers of Arrakis, Get ready to be swept away once again as Dune Part 2 takes us on an unforgettable journey through the sands of time and space. Subscribe now to stay tuned for more intriguing insights and share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's keep the Dune conversation going.